Right, welcome back. So we have finished. Richard's been working hard today to fix the X903DG7 Alpine kit, dedicated Golf 7 Alpine upgrade. Um, the reason why we started the video back off at the front end of the car is just because this car's had a few extra little mods. Um, we like the front bumper and the front splitter, it makes it look really cool and it's been lowered and a few other things. So this is the reason why this customer wanted to invest some good money in the Alpine dedicated 9 inch and also the rear emblem camera as well. Right, okay, so we're now in the car and this car has turned up uh, with some pretty good factory specification. So this is a GTD, we've got a nice flat bottom steering wheel, we've got adaptive cruise, we've got color instrument cluster here or MFD, and we've got the basic composition media. Now this composition media doesn't have navigation, it's just the six and a half inch color um, display. It's low resolution, it's boring, and it's not exciting to use or to look at. Now those of you that uh, who are familiar with these systems, also in the glove box um, is the main Volkswagen infotainment drive. Um, so you do still get CD player in these, um, not anymore obviously, and you also then get the SD card um, because it's an embedded feature. Once we have got to work, uh, Richard will be stripping all of this out taking the screen out, taking the drive out, interacting with everything behind the scenes. So we will retain the DAB um, antenna. Um, there's no GPS, so we have to fit one. We retain the microphone and we retain, wherever it is, uh, the USB, the factory USB. So the chances are, I think on this kit, that the media in uh, will come out and in there will go a USB and AUX socket um, because I don't think there's anywhere else in this car, no. So, that goes in there and gets retained. Once we have done that, we will be fitting, so Richard will just zoom out a tiny bit. Uh, I'm just holding this up just to show. So we are going from this, bit boring, six and a half inch, to this. Right, so we're in the car, and this is the end result, the finished article. Uh, so, with the original Volkswagen system, the composition media, the screen has been removed and the drive in the glove box has been left in but disconnected completely. This Alpine system, with our custom logo that we put on as usual, that's one of the new VW red logos with our logo in the top left hand corner. And let's just turn the volume down in case there's anything that pops up on there. And again, when you come here to have some work done, we'll always do a nice little custom logo like this because it just beats the standard VW one. So what we can do is, as you can see, big old buttons here. We we'll press the menu. Um, you've got your FM, you've got your DAB, you've got your Bluetooth, you've got your Bluetooth audio, you've got your mobile phone, you've got access to the reversing camera, um, and you've got your setup and other bits and pieces. So what we will do is if we just turn the volume up, so let's just go into DAB, okay? So you've got your volume, like so, through the steering wheel, and you've got your big buttons on the left-hand side, access to the audio menu, like so. Um, now what you can do with this, because this will cycle through the sources, um, which is quite handy, but if you want access to your main audio menu, um, that's down here or swipe down from the top. So you can adjust your bass, your treble. Um, if you had factory audio like Dyn Audio, then you can go in and set those different pieces and bits and pieces up um, and turn it on and off your bass engine. So you've got your um, graphic equalizer and other bits and pieces, but I won't bore you into that because it's standard Alpine stuff. You've got your mute button. Um, and then you've got your microphone and you've got your Siri button. So if I put the car into reverse, let's just go out of this menu and go on the main menu like so. Put it into reverse. Okay, and because it's an Alpine, again, with Alpine integration, what we try and do is we will give you your front and rear parking sensors and your reversing image. So this is, as I said to you, this is a genuine VW emblem camera. We can't tell it what view it gives. It gives the factory the view here. 
Uh, so these guidelines are fixed, they don't move because it's called a low line one. And when you take it out of reverse, I mean, this, that's the, that, that camera is being stretched onto a nine inch display, which of course you don't get in a normal VW. But then you can tap the parking sensors and you get your rear parking sensors and you get your front parking sensors with the audible buzzer or the sounder still comes through the factory um, sounders as you would normally. And down here, if you can just show on here, because this car is equipped with front and rear factory sensors, um, that will turn off automatically when you go above 10 um, miles an hour or seven miles an hour. And you can just press a button and it zooms uh, and cuts out, goes back to the main screen. Right, so in here, you've got quick access to the phone. Um, there's no devices set up at the moment. We can go in, we can go into navigation. So this is the TomTom Tom navigation that's built in. From the minute we install it and activate it, you've got three years free mapping and you get two years warranty because we're an excellent dealer and that gives you peace of mind. You spend all this money, you wanna know it's gonna last and perform. And of course there are updates and other things available as well. Now if I just take it out of gear, in the um, customer's uh, ashtray area here, what would have been an ashtray, little cubby hole, the, um, what would have been the MDI, VW MDI, multi-device interface um, for iPod, which is old fashioned and USB and aux. We've now got, if the light is okay, we've now got a three and a half mil jack and a USB. So if I was to plug in um, our little USB lead, get it the right way around. Now, um, VW owners know that you can get these little really cool, they're about the same length as this, but they're really nice silver um, braided cables. I've got one in my car, it does look really nice, and you can just pop it in there and get rid of it like so. Now I'm gonna plug in my uh, um, iPhone 13 Pro. Um, just wait for that to kick in and see what happens. Um, you can see it's just started charging up on there. Apple CarPlay will automatically kick up over to there. Let's just go in and change the menu screen anyway. Now, because my phone was unlocked, it's not gone through and said, do you want to use Apple CarPlay? I can now shut this like so, pop it in the cubby hole, press. Um... Now, Apple CarPlay is cool. I use it every day, especially on a nine inch display like this. You can go in, you can change the wallpaper, uh, make it look a little bit more anyway, in keeping with the vehicle. So we've done that, it's black like so. We've got WhatsApp, uh, we've got Waze, we've got Google Maps. Again, having satellite view on a nine inch display is just awesome. Um, I probably wouldn't use anything other than this just because I think it's cool. Um, still has support through the GPS antenna as well. And you've got your Spotify, which is again, go in there, listen to your music, uh, see what you're doing. Uh, and then any other apps. So I've got uh, another app on here that plays international radio stations as well. So that's it, that's Apple CarPlay. You've also got Android Auto um, built in, but it's wired. You've got your Bluetooth. So once you're connected via Bluetooth, you can also stream your music. You've got your steering wheel controls um, and you've got um, basic setup on here. So this will give you turn by turn instructions on the instrument cluster, but not on CarPlay. This will do it through the um, TomTom navigation. And then if we go out of here, so we've got audio, that is telling us what we're listening to on the radio station side as well. You've got answer and end from your steering wheel. You've got voice control and you've got your volume. So this is the fantastic Golf 7 X903D, the latest of the breed because it's the 903 and it's a nine inch display. We've retained FM antenna, we've retained the DAB antenna, we've retained USB but added. We've fitted a GPS antenna because this car didn't come with nav, but we're now gonna roll out with the reversing camera, with Apple CarPlay, with Android Auto, with built-in TomTom nav. Um, and he, you know, this customer is going to absolutely thoroughly love his drive home um, and get the best out of this beautiful car. Now, if you've got a car like this and you want something and you've got some money saved up and you want it to be the bee's knees, then get in touch with us because this is worth its weight in gold, this kit. I mean, there's even a few other features that I won't go into. Um, I think, actually, we have covered it quite a few times before, but if you've got the climate control, so for instance here, 
you can go in and you can change your settings. Now I know that there's the screen and there's the climate control, but if you wanted to, there's all the different settings there and you can see them changing. If we then go into heated seats, you can change, there we go, three, two, one, off, three, two, one. Again, you've got the passenger side, you've got your temperature gauge that goes up to like so. These Alpine systems really do integrate beautifully with the car as much as you can. Um, and because of course the composition media did a hell of a lot more um, than just do radio and Bluetooth and dab, you've got a whole load of settings um, that are retained in through here. So, and I'm sure I should have, should have put on this earlier. Um, we do so many videos, it's, it's hard to remember everything that we talk about. So you've got your parking and maneuvering, which you can set up your um, volumes and other bits and pieces you've got your tires um, and I, I don't we have done loads of these videos but what we are doing is of course the minute we remove that factory system we need to retain all that information so don't worry it's all retained here um, as, as it would do and it's all done via data um, so again that's all in there as well but that's the reason why you choose to have a dedicated system not just a universal yes it works and fits this is the dedicated um, Golf 7 Alpine platform. So um, if you're interested or you've got a car or know somebody that wants a system like this, please get in touch with us. The website is www.advanced-incar.co.uk. Um, as usual, we really appreciate you watching. Tell your friends, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, uh, and we'll keep um, pumping out the new videos. And thanks again.